what is up everybody doom wake here welcome to another video here on the channel as you can see in front of you we are going to be playing some asmo i know i said i'd be uh, working on some different asmo decks and this is kind of the uh, the next iteration so this uh, originally started when i saw a deck list on twitter from johnny hobbs and they were playing with grixis so Basically, their deck list was a lot of what's going on here, but instead of the white cards like Oswald and Portable Hole, they were playing with Emery, uh, a more blue focus. They had a third time Sib, more blue in the mana base, maybe some blue sideboard cards, and then they had Unearth over Ragavan. And I played a couple leagues with that deck list. It felt pretty good. The core is there, but I wanted to kind of lean a little bit more into the combo, and I think Oswald does that because it's more of the, the tutor effect. So let's go over what the combo is. Basically, what we're trying to set up here is we're trying to set up uh, Academy Manufacturer, which is if you would basically, if you make a clue of food or a treasure, you get one of each. So every time you activate Cookbook, you get three game objects. Um, so the, you set up Manufacturer along with Cookbook, so you can make three game objects every time you tap the Cookbook. Uh, a Daredevil, so you get you get to keep rebuying the daredevil you don't have to be down cards or down resources and then we're combining those cards so we have a, a ton of artifacts ton of stuff in the battlefield and we're combining that with time sieve which actually allows us to take infinite turns whether you know if we have two manufacturers and one cookbook or two cookbooks and one manufacturer because in both of those instances we're making six game objects or six artifacts on every loop and you only need five artifacts to take it, you know, every single turn with time sieve. So you make six artifacts, you sack five to time sieve, you can take infinite turns. So that's what we're trying to accomplish here. And we have, again, as I was saying, a lot of tutor targets. We have Goblin Engineer, which goes and finds Academy Manufacturer, Time Sieve, or Cookbook, and Oswald Fiddlebender, which also finds all three of those pieces. So we have a lot of ways to set up the combo. We have the combo pieces themselves, and then the rest of the deck is kind of mana, because we have a couple of Mox Ambers, which is really nice, because now that we're playing with more Legends, with Ragavan, uh, Ragavan Oswald, and Asmo, we actually get to turn Mox Amber on pretty consistently, so we get a little bit, little bit more mana acceleration that way. We have Asmo and Urza Saga as kind of our plan B, so whenever, if our opponent has Artifact Hate and that we can't set up the combo, or if they have a bunch of Graveyard Hate and it's hard for us to, you know, to, to set up the Daredevil loops, then... You know we can just um we can just kind of beat them down with asmo and saga one thing i will say if you have uh academy manufacturer uh excuse me two academy manufacturers one cookbook and a time sieve you actually don't need your graveyard you don't need to, the daredevil loops to keep going because every turn you draw you draw a, you draw one card every turn and you can even if you have no cards in hand you can keep discarding the one card you draw every turn to cookbook which makes six artifacts so you don't actually need your graveyard to go off uh, obviously, the graveyard breaks up the engineer stuff, so, like, you know, if they have graveyard hate, it might be hard for you to set up the, the combo, but if, <clears throat> if their graveyard hate, like, comes after you've already set up the two manufacturers or something like that, you can still take infinite turns, so keep that in mind. And then we have, uh, rounding out the deck, we have a couple of blood fountains, which is really nice because it makes two artifacts... <clears throat> excuse me, of different mana types for Oswald. So it makes a one mana artifact, so you can sack the Blood Fountain itself to go get Time Sieve or Wellspring, and it makes a zero, so you can sack the zero to go get a cookbook. So it's really nice with Oswald, and it's a discard outlet for Asmo, and which, as you may see in the video, there are some games where you just pay four mana, sack it, you know, essentially draw two cards, you're getting two creatures back from your graveyard, and you can kind of overwhelm your opponent that way. Uh, we got a couple portables here to go search with Oswald, just a really good addition to any deck playing Oswald, it allows you to tutor for removal spells, which is really nice. Uh, a couple of Wellsprings, again, pairs very nicely with Oswald, and Engineer, because you can kind of loop the Wellsprings. If you're low on cards, you can, you know, get the Wellspring to kind of get you back up on, on cards give you those resources that you need to eventually, you know, finish off the combo, which is kind of cool. And what else didn't we go over? The one spring leaf drum, which is again, just some more mana acceleration, which is, you know, you, you there are, there's a choke point at which, like when your saga dies, you kind of need extra mana to be able to, you know, maybe set up a combo that turn. So like being able to float the saga for mana, getting a drum can give you the mana that you need to go off that turn, which is kind of cool. And then the mana base, again, some Urza Sagas. And then we do have a very light blue. This is basically a Mardu deck. It's not trying to cast Time Sieve. Like, because you have Engineer and Oswald, you don't necessarily need blue mana in your deck. Obviously, you kind of, you know, playing one Water Grave is fine because there are some spots where you do actually want to cast the Time Sieve. But for the most part, we're just a Mardu deck. We don't have any other blue cards in our deck. So that's kind of cool as well. Uh, and then some fetches and some shocks varying... Uh, 
viewing the mid. The one thing I will say about the mana base that I learned after playing the video, uh, we need a Sacred Foundry. So probably end up cutting one of the fetch lands for a Sacred Foundry or, or maybe the maybe the Spire of Industry or something like that. But we need a Sacred Foundry. Um, and then moving over to the sideboard, we have some thought seizes for the combo matchups and whenever your opponent has a lot of counter spells, additional portable holes for small creatures, and also the thing about portable holes, it kills most graveyard hate, like rest in peace, um, you know, spell bomb, relic, lancer, and all that kind of stuff. It's really good against those cards. We got a cold against command for being able to shatter artifacts, because one of this deck's weakness main weaknesses is pithing needle on cookbook. Because we are so much more reliant on cookbook when we're trying to set up manufacturer and time sieve, that we really have to be able to kill Pithing Needle at you know at, at every stage of the game, whenever they have it. So we have two wear tears for that as well, as well as being good against you know Urza Saga and, and other stuff. And then we got some uh, some bullet targets here. We have an explosives. Get good against Hammer Time, good at killing Pithing Needle. We have an Ensnaring Bridge, which I learned is really good against Murktide region. They don't have a ton of answers to it. Uh, we have a Damping Sphere for Tron, Amulet, those kinds of decks. And then we have some Saga targets here. Uh, these one ofs can be found with Goblin Engineer or Oswald. And then you have a Soul Guide Lantern, a Pithing Needle, and a Nihil Spell Bomb. Uh, we're splitting the Soul Guide and the Spell Bomb just because of Needle, just in case our opponent has, has that type of effect. We want to make sure we have one of each. Um... So yeah, that's the deck list. I had a lot of fun playing this league, and it's a little bit, there's a couple of matches are a little bit longer, um, just, you know, the way that, that like, y y I don't want to spoil it, but you'll see. Oh, I forgot to mention the Gigantha in our sideboard. It's basically free. I don't think there's a reason not to play Gigantha, uh, unless you really wanted the 15th sideboard card, but I'd, I'd probably play the Gigantha. I think it's worth it. Uh, so yeah, there's a couple long matches, so, you know, bear with me here, but it's going to be a lot of fun, I promise, uh, but I won't keep you waiting any longer. I'll see you back here in just a little bit for round number one. Uh, Sands Nuts, I keep. I think I get Blood Crypt. So I can go turn one Cookbook, turn two, discard Daredevil, cast Mox Amber, play Asmo, play Blood Fountain, or second Cookbook. Yeah, this hand's insane. I mean, if they discard my Mox Amber, it's kind of bad, but... I can't not keep this hand. I guess if they have Prismatic Ending, it's kind of awkward, because then I can't play the Asmo. But, like, I can't really play around Prismatic Ending by playing Blood Fountain, because if I play Fountain and don't draw a land, then I can't Asmo plus, or Cookbook plus Asmo. So I think I just have to run the Gambit, and just hope they don't have Prismatic Ending. <clears throat> Come on, man. Uh, I like how they tanked on it. This. Go. Like, not playing Mox? Oh, the first turn. Yeah, yeah, the first turn. I mean, now it's whatever, but... The first turn, I agree with not playing Mox. Stoneforge Mystic. Okay. Alright, drew a land, so that's probably game... So we get to go sack the blood token, discard Daredevil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sack the blood token, discard Daredevil. Play this, play Asmo, get a book, play a book, get back Daredevil, make a food, kill the Stoneforge. Your turn. <laughs> I have another prismatic ending. It's not even that bad because now I can just start going off with manufacture. They might ending the cookbook. It's not an unreasonable play. <laughs> Tech needs more clicking. That was indeed a good turn. That was indeed a good turn. Could have played the drum too. Uh, no, I couldn't have, because I needed to sack the Blood Fountain token, so if I play Drum first, and then I use the other mana to sack the Blood Fountain token, I don't have an Asmo in play, so I couldn't, I couldn't have played Drum. Explain how I could have played Drum, unless I'm just stupid. Oh, I could have played Drum off of this, you're right, yeah, 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 I could have played Drum off of the, off the Mox. Okay, good point. I am stupid. I could have played it off the Mox, you're right. I'm just gonna make a food now. 
they have Counterspell too? Jesus Christ. God. So rough, dude. Land Jace. This is so rough. When playing the second book? What do you mean? You know, fucking loud to a happy song. They have a counter spell. Can't really play around it. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Some cavern of souls, yeah. Go. Sure. It's like a carousel. I'm just gonna play this tap and psych the blood fountain. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I can get the Esmo back with this. This actually gets two creatures back. So I'm just gonna sack this to get back the Esmo and the manufacture this turn. I mean, I, I have a divination in play, so I'm not even behind. Okay, that's fine. They need to have another counter spell, which, given how my opponents draw in this game, they probably have it. Giantness. Uh, what's the best way to sequence this? I think I'd play Manufactor first as, like, bait. I don't think they'd ever counter this, but... Okay, we got him. Thank you. Thank you for countering that, opponents. I have to discard the Manufactor, which kind of stinks, but it's fine, because I can just kill both their creatures... Killing this now so they can't put the cauldron into play. I don't know why they countered the manufacturer. It didn't do anything. They shouldn't have countered that. Play the cookbook. Uh, if I don't draw a daredevil, I might want to discard the cookbook to the cookbook and play. There's, there's almost no reason to. You know what I mean? Like, I have so much mana that I can just play it next turn, and if I don't fight a Daredevil, I might need to, to discard the... You know what I mean? Are they going to bounce the Daredevil? I guess I should have played the cookbook. <laughs> Unearth. So, there was a version that we tried. The first version that we tried with Grixis had Emery and Unearth. I don't think you want to play Emery with... I don't think you want to play Unearth without Emery. So, it's, like, kind of a package deal. This is different... This is, like, kind of leaning more into the Mardu version with basically Oswald over Emery. But I, I don't think you want to play Unearth without Emery. So, it's, like, do you want to play Oswald Ragavan or Emery Unearth? You know? Yeah, we had Unearth in the first... In the first version. So, they're bouncing the Asmo... I just kill the Sentinel in response, right? And they have to have Solitude for this. 
I guess they could also have another Sentinel. Cool. Got him. So, blue, white, stone blade. I think wear tear is dece. Bridge is bad. Sphere is bad. The graveyard stuff is bad. Needle's good. Coligan's command's good. Portable hole's good. Thoughtseize is not bad either. The problem is, what the hell are we supposed to cut? Like, I have nine cards that I want to board in. I don't really know. It's always the issue with sideboarding with these decks is you just, like, you, your deck is so, like, based around synergy, it's really hard to make cuts, you know? Like, sometimes I've been cutting Ragavan, but I think Ragavan's pretty good against blue-white. I could just trim on the combo stuff. Spike had rest in peace, didn't he? So maybe I just trim on some of the graveyard-centric stuff, like this. Probably one of these. Don't mind cutting one of these. I could cut all the engineers if I expected them to have rest in peace. That's not terrible. Just be more focused on, like, Saga plus Ragavan plus Oswald. Because Oswald doesn't really interact with the graveyard. Maybe the Thoughtseizes are too much. And just keep whole wear, tear, needle, command, and no Thoughtseize. But Thoughtseize is good against Counterspell, so... Just take out Ragavan. Well, Ragavan's one of my best threats against rest in peace, you know? So I don't think I want to do that. Wellspring's kind of awkward against Rest in Peace. I could trim one of those. Maybe trim a Fiddlebender. Yeah, I could also trim a Daredevil. Just, like, trim on a lot of this stuff. This actually doesn't look too bad. Let's try this. The song, if you ever want to know what the song is, is in the top left. It should be in the top left of your screen. Uh, it's a one lander. I also don't have Sacred Foundry in my deck, which might be a, a flaw. But if the Ragaman connects, obviously I can cast the Portable Hole. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this. It's pretty, it's pretty risky, but I'm gonna keep it. No, the deck command does work. It's, well, the deck command is there. It's just sometimes Stream Decker has issues where it, like, leaves the channel. So, should work now. Try it again. All right, let's go Blood Crypt, Ragavan. Yeah, it's like they probably have Prismatic Ending. Which they do. Another one I can make. Okay, so let's go cookbook pass. Make a food end of turn. Hopefully draw a land for manufacture. I'll be the counter spell. Sean Bruno, thank you for the 150 bits. Hopefully we draw an Oswald right now. Okay. Um, let's just play the P-hole. Bess. I guess that is actually good. Is it just cute? I think it's good. We've had, I mean, we've been 3 2 most of the leagues. There's definitely, like, something in the shell. Like, the combination of Manufacturer plus Daredevil plus Cookbook plus Time Sieve, like, those combination of cards, it's really good. And they work pretty well together. Uh, it's just trying to find the right shell, you know? I'm going to EOT Wear Tear the Rest in Peace. Because I want them to counter this, and if they if I draw a land, I can go mid, I can go portable hole plus manufacture. Uh, tear. I want them to counter this. They didn't. Sedge. Well, I guess I'll just beat you at Saga then. I'm not gonna play the manufacture into their obvious counter spell. 
You know it's getting its counterspell? Urza's Saga. Inspire first player on Spell Pierce. Yeah, I guess I should play on Spell Pierce. You're probably right. And there was no reason not to play the Spire first. I just don't respect Spell Pierce as often as I should. Alright, that bounces Saga. You don't have a Counterspell up now, though. Hall of Storm Giants. Gotta get that one in the deck. Let's see if you deserve one. Alright, play Saga. Play Manufactor. Guess I just make it now. And pass? Just pass. What does Rip Exile itself before wear and tear? Uh, is that not how it's supposed to work? It's not supposed to work like that, right? I have a third rest in peace. Okay. Well, I have a, I have a portable hole, so. What ifs? I like how they drew all three rest in pieces, but I drew three answers, so. Feels good, man. <laughs> Make that four answers. Only seems to kill the mint. Make that four answers. Crack the fetch now. Your turn. <clears throat> Batter skull. Batter chump block. Rip is not a trigger, it's last known info. Okay, so is that how it's supposed to work? I didn't know that. I didn't know that, that if that's how that's supposed to work. Alright, my turn. It's uh too free for the bean, as the kids say. Too free for the bean. Look, it's about time my luck started, uh, you know. It's about time, chat. That's all I'm going to say. Black, red, this. That was an absolute beating. 5-0 incoming? Maybe. Burn everything. Let's go. The same has no red mana, but it has cookbook. Oh, it does have red mana. It has sneaky red mana. Nah, no more god accounts, Sag. God accounts were removed today. Feels bad, man. Saying a sneaky red mana. I actually should have not played the mox there. Because now they know that the mox is generating mana. But I guess I was going to have to play the Mox before the Asmo anyways, so it's probably the same thing. Eight Gast and Legacy? I was just going to play Rhinos. They hit the other Mox. Oh god, that's so sick! Now they have four mana. My Mox is literally a two of, and they just hit the, they hit the one Mox in my deck? That's insane. They should have tapped this. That is disgusting. Okay, so I can discard probably the drum. Cast Asmo. They're gonna counter it, and then I'm gonna play the other Asmo and probably play the Ragavan. Having the backup Asmo is nice. I could play Cookbook. Hmm. The problem with playing Cookbook is they probably have a burn spell. 
if I play Cookbook and they have a burn spell, it's so bad. I think I have to play Ragavan. Yeah, I gotta play Ragavan. Like, imagine a world where I play Cookbook and they have Bolt. I just, I just get annihilated. This at least makes them have two removal spells if they want to get through with the Ragavan, which is like... Maybe they do, but I'm probably not beating two removal spells anyways. I think it's fine. All right, there's the first removal spell. Right it. I will say I've been pretty impressed by, by Mox Amber with twelve legends: Ragavan, uh, Asmo, and Oswald. Mox Amber's been been consistent, so I'm a big fan of that. I don't know if you want to play three, but. I know this turns on Delirium, but I can't get hit by the Ragavan. Alright, this is not looking great. Mm. Should I play it out? Guess I'll play out a turn. <laughs> yeah, I drew a land should have got hit by Ragavan. Maybe the reason I'm probably just gonna scoop. What the hell is this? Okay, Blood Moon? Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So playing against Merc died. Um Portable Hole is good. Doesn't kill Murktide or Blood Moon, though. Thoughtseize, I think, is not great. Not a fan of Thoughtseize against Ragavan. Too slow. Never a big fan of EE against them. I like the graveyard stuff. Uh, I think this is a matchup where I kind of want to cut Ragavan. Let's try it like this. Did we remove the Moxes versus the Ragavan deck? Yeah, so that situation doesn't happen again. I guess if I'm cutting Ragavan, I probably should cut this Mox. Bring in the E. Is it a bridge matchup? Maybe? Could try bridge. Let's try it. It's good against it's good against Murktide. That might be five fit, especially in the enemy version where you can file on three for her manufacturer. Maybe. I mean, you could honestly justify putting one vial in this deck just as like a tutorable way. Like it's a card that you can tutor off of Saga that that allows you to not strand dead Asmos in your hand. Just like one random vial to get off Saga. I was I've never been a big fan of Thoughties in matchups like this. It just kind of doesn't line up the way you want it to. This hand's good. I think I'm going to lead on Blood Fountain. <laughs> yeah, just just one vial. Just a singular vial. It's the correct number. We, we tested it. Science. Science! Some prismatic endings. I thought about prismatic ending in the original list that I had, but, like, do you really ever want to go up to, like, the original list I had at four portable hole and three prismatic ending? If you're playing Oswald, I think portable hole is almost always going to be better. And, like, do you really ever want to go up to that many removal spells post board? It's like, yeah, it's kind of sketchy sometimes. It's just, it's a lot of removal in the post-board games, you know? <laughs> or like five vials? Yeah. Ooh, they don't have a removal spell. That's good. You think you'd rather have prismatics than the additional holes? Maybe. But it's like... Especially, like, against Rhinos and stuff like that, where your portable holes... 
uh, when they, like, if you're hitting tokens off Portable Hole, that's kind of the matchups where you really want more of them, because you don't mind sacrificing them to the Oswald, because you can just kind of loop them. So if you're, like, hitting Rhinos or hitting Construct tokens, it's really good. They have Fury? I feel like they wouldn't have made this play unless they had Fury, because they're just going to bin their channel or the Asmo. I feel like they have Fury. Nope, no Fury. Well, I drew a second Asthma anyways. I kind of want to find a land drop here, so I'm just going to play the Wellspring. Pog. I could just Lantern them now so they can't play a Murktide. It's only a 5-5. Five -five. I'm gonna kill this, and then attack. Do I want to commit more one drops to an engineered explosives? Kind of feel like if they EE, they might just E on zero anyways. But if I play a one drop, maybe they EE on one. Could also play Lantern, target, consider, just don't sack the Lantern. That's probably my best line, right? Just don't just don't sack the Lantern. I don't want to expose the second book to a um, to an explosives on one, because then I have no food generation left over. So like this way, I'm kind of incentivizing them to do it on one, but that's fine because I have a backup cookbook. So Do I always know certain in the top 8 or do I split? Uh, it depends. There's situations where I do, situations where I don't. Depends on the prize pool. Depends on the matchup. You know, there's 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 different factors that go into it, for sure. Like, if I think I have a highly favorable matchup, I'm probably not going to split, you know. Blood Moon, huh? Alright, sure. I'm okay with that. Let's actually just draw a card off of this. Okay. Probably don't want to cast that one. Let's, uh... Loot. Still kind of don't want to commit another one drop into explosives, so I'm just going to pass. If I thought I was 51% and I'm playing for everything for first, nothing for second, would I split? No, I think the percentage has got to be higher than that. I got to be at least like 65, 35, I think. Get someone to chat, let me know what Blood Fountain is doing here. So, Blood Fountain is a one mana artifact, gives you two permanents, a zero and a one, both of which can like help you chain up with Oswald. And it also and it gives you a blood token, which is a discard element for Asmo. <clears throat> there is Oswald, I promise. Alright, punish for cycling the lantern, I guess. I'm just gonna do this main phase so I can have six. I'll take a swamp. Yes, I uh, maybe should have got a swamp, huh? Because I had an opportunity to fetch a swamp when I did this. But I also didn't have red man at the time. That just ended up drawing the second blood grip, which was awkward. Uh... Alright, I guess I will play an explosives now. Or play this, because now I have a third cookbook. I'm not going to play the third one, but... Maybe resolve the bridge. I have seven cards in my hand. The problem with bridge this game is I'm just gonna have I'm gonna always have four cards I can't cast. Bridge is gonna do nothing this game. Bridge is not good when you have four uncastables in your hand.
Doing it for zero. Okay. We have dash ragaban. Not looking great. Uh, I need a portable hole on my cookbooks. Yeah, I mean, we're just good against stopping Murktide, I guess, but... Well, I guess I could just choose to discard my cards to cookbook. And I this is a May, so I can choose to not get it back. So, maybe the bridge was actually a good play. Yeah, you're right. I should have played bridge last turn. Because I could have just started dumping my hand. To try and lock them under the bridge. They hit the blood fountain. When I don't have black mana. It's interesting. Okay, well now I can actually lock the monkey under the bridge. I can just discard three cards. I don't know how I'm going to kill them. But, you know, we'll we'll get to that eventually. <laughs> we'll figure it out when we come to it, you know. Dash Ragavan. So I'm just going to discard three cards. Engineer would be the kill. Yeah, perhaps. This is the same deck list that I posted from the Discord, yeah. How about Aether Grid? Be good against Blood Moon. I can find a Ragavan. Oh no, if I find Ragavan, I can't. Oh no, I can! If I find Ragavan, I can actually get the Ragavan under the moon, or under the bridge. Wait, did I cut Ragavans? Oh, I did. Probably should have cut Ragavans. Um, Alright, go. Probably gonna rebuy an Asmo this turn, I guess? <laughs> okay. Yeah, but it's going to involve Engineer, right? Which they can probably just kill. Like, they can just kill the Engineer. And I'm sure they have an answer to, answer to this at some point, you know? They, I'm sure they have an answer in their deck somewhere. Um, yeah, so now I can just get back Asmo... Yes, no. Yeah, we can get back Asmo this turn. I still have one book in my deck, too. That's why I'm not sure about getting back Asmo. Why do you not want to get back Asmo? I just kill their things, right? I guess their things just don't matter. But if they find an answer to bridge, their things matter, right? Like, I don't, I don't see the downside in getting back an Asmo here. Oh, because you can keep rebuying Engineers? Okay, yeah, I guess that's fine. I guess the Asmo just doesn't do anything. Sure, I guess I'll buy that. We can just wait. I probably should be sacking some food, actually. Yeah, I should have sacked some food there. I can get a lot of life. <laughs> Bolt me? Okay. So they got three bolts left in their deck. I wonder how many answers to the bridge they have. Probably not a ton. They probably have at least one, but... Make two to three. Yeah, something like that. All right, let's start the food train. I mean, I'm getting nine a turn, so. <clears throat> That's a card. That is a magic card. I mean, I'm sure it's going to die, but. Now I can just rebuy that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I still have a time save in my deck. 
Did you run on land? Yeah. How many Merc Tides do you think are in their hand? I wonder if they're just refusing to play Merc Tides. Maybe. But now we can just Oswald for the next three turns, you know? Which is pretty dope. Should I cast the Asmo? There's not really a reason not to, right? Different page. Because this one, they kind of have to counter. I mean, I guess they don't. They can just let these two die, right? Like, the Asmo is probably not even relevant. Alright. We're going to counter it. That's fine. Yeah, it's another book, too. So they have to find another answer to this Oswald, which maybe they have one rolled up, but... Alright. They don't have it in their hand... Hold? Uh, needle the Asmo. Or Needle the Oswald, sure. Needle the Oswald. Mm -mm 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 -mm. They, they may have had that one for a while. Oh, I should have made a food in response. Because that might just be naming Cookbook and killing the Oswalds. Yeah, I should have made a food. All right, so, okay, yes, okay, no, sack of food. We got portable holes. It's awkward because I only have one white source, but. Not for this one. All right, go. Love is a battlefield. Lost two trophies today with Red by Prowess. Sag. Alright, they found a bolt. So now I can go... Uh, I think... Rebuy the Oswald? How many... <sighs> One... Two... If they're only down four removal spells... Maybe rebuying Oswald is bad, because then I'm only down to two books. Well, I'm down to one in play, one in my deck. Maybe I should just chill. Although, I don't know. Like, is it, is it getting any better if I wait? It's probably not getting better if I wait, right? Yeah. Yeah, alright, 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 alright. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I can cycle that. Pog. The bridge didn't have to deal with it? Well, eventually they do, because I can just sack my bridge. You know? Like, eventually, I can... If I take a bunch of turns, like, if they let me take infinite turns, I can just eventually sack my bridge. You know what I mean? I guess it's not infinite, right? Oh, fuck, I forgot the discard. Shit. I was talking and I forget to discard a card. Alright, whatever. Well, I'm gonna get punished. Didn't get punished. Okay, so... Dress down. Okay. So I can't use my Oswalds. Oh, hello there. I guess it doesn't have an ability, but I gotta play it this turn, I think. If we make it over the mountain... Thanks, Chris. Glad you're having a good time. Yeah, I got punished from the misclick. Let 
think it's the one, yeah. Uh, feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. I'm not going to put the other time Steve in the graveyard. I might just... I don't know what I'm going to put in the graveyard. Maybe another counterspell. Okay. I'm going to put... Because I think I need to keep the time save in my deck for Fiddlebender. Uh, I guess I could... I have a Wellspring in play. Maybe a Blood Fountain? I have a Blood Fountain in the graveyard. Uh, maybe a Portable Hole? So I don't have to sack the hole that's in play. Probably makes the most sense, right? Well, I mean, I kind of want access to the hole in my graveyard, right? You know. They only have 23 cards left. They do only have 23 cards left. The problem is they're eventually going to find their answer to bridge, you know. Because I'm sure they have some answer in their deck to bridge. Well, if they don't kill the Engineer, yes. They could have more Dress Downs, I guess. Stop it! Okay. Get one back. Should have sacked some food, but I forgot. All right, your turn. Ooh. We're letting it go? Oh, they're gonna let me get the time save in play? That's a good, that's good for us. <clears throat> Ow. They are letting us get the time sieve. All right. I will get the time sieve. Might as well be cancerated. I'm going to play the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forget about the Jagatha. Uh, no. No. Okay, it's dead. Dude, what a game this is. What's up, hello cat dog? I'm having fun. Deck's been doing decent so far. When I sack the wellspring there, because I get a card in my hand that I that oh, I guess like if I if I draw a card, then I could just discard a card to go under the ragavan, it's probably fine. Uh sure. Kind of surprised I didn't do that for two. Alright, let's sack five food. So I get one extra turn. Uh, I think I have to keep the cookbook in play. Like, how many cookbooks do I have left? I only have one cookbook left. Hmm. I'm just trying to think if I want to sack the cookbook to get back Manufacture and hope to peel the last cookbook. That seems kind of bad, though. Oh, okay. Hang on a second, I'm banning him. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> How many times did they do it? Was it three? Thank you, Todd. Oh, that's fine. They're they're gone now. They're they're gone now, it's fine. They're gone. I got him. I got him, Todd. I got him. Okay, I'm just going to sack some food. I don't want to sack the book, is what I'm getting at. 
Many times. I'm just gonna go to 32. I wonder if they have Jace. No, they're just gonna play Murktide. Well, Murktide doesn't matter at all. Well, measure the price of misery. No, no, yes. So I get two turns. Oh, I drew the last cookbook. So is that deterministic? I have enough mana. Play cookbook. No. No. So one, two, three, four. Sack. Get back manufacture. Just make a food. No. No. Yes. Okay. Extra turn. Alright, they conceded. Whew, what a game. What a game. Jesus. Alright, so we determined that bridge was good, right? Engineer, then manufacture. Oh, because I could play the engineer and then, yeah, and then weld the manufacture back into play. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I should have got the I should have got the engineer first. I guess I could have just sacked the last cookbook to get the engineer and then start welding back the cookbooks. But yeah, I, I should have done that first. You're right. So I misclicked. Didn't get punished, though. So that's good. We're just going to run it back. I think we go run it back. Are we getting life again? Food. Just make. I'm making free food off the cookbook every turn. Needle on EE. Yeah, they have a lot of explosives. Maybe I should have done that. Yeah, that might be better. I'm going to keep this. It's kind of sketchy. It's missing a cookbook. It technically has a cookbook, but the engineer is not likely to survive. gonna get basics this game i want to have swamp planes i guess i can't get swamp planes because i have engineer that's awkward i'm not gonna fetch yet though oh thanks chief freeze set it out ragabans yeah but i have a goblin engineer in my hand you know So I need red banner for this. Probably just gonna go swamp. Mm, I can't go swamp sacred foundry because I don't have a sacred foundry in my deck. I guess I could just get swamp planes, just not play the engineer. Seems kind of bad. But, like, how likely is my engineer to survive anyways? They went top, top. Uh, I don't want to just go swamp, blood crypt, engineer, get cookbook, and pray. And then I can go amber, sack the amber, get back cookbook, discard, play asmo. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Again, it's not likely to work, but... <clears throat> Plains Blood Crypt? I want the Swamp. Maybe the Swamp is worse than the Plains. Because now if I draw Oswald, that's pretty bad. Yeah, Plains, Plains Blood Crypt might be better. I was thinking I want a basic Swamp to hard cast these, but that's just not that relevant, right? Alright, they had the heat, unsurprisingly. We kind of expected that, but... 
Ah, immediately punished. I knew that was going to happen. We want neighbor and play in case they made a mistake and give us priority. Yeah, maybe. Fuck. Yeah, I should have got planes. Should have went planes, blood grip. Like, the hard casting Daredevil is just, it's just irrelevant. That was just stupid. Good beats. Good beats. Fetch the wrong land. Wash. Uh, I mean, Saga's dicey against Obosh, but I have a portable hole and I have a time sieve. Sand's fine, I think. It's not a bad draw, I guess. Cast it. Lava dirt me. Just got ascendancy combo. All right, blood moon me. I also drew the second time sieve, which means now I can't like, I can't weld it into play because I just have both in my hand. <laughs> So if they play Blood Moon, I'm just, like, kind of Stone Cold dead. Yeah, I'm just going to scoop if they play Blood Moon. I, I can't possibly beat it. Playing the band event? I think we're going to do a little bit of that on Sunday, but... Oh, they're just Oboshing? That I can beat. The fuck is in their hand? Uh, Let's play this so I can get a basic Planes if they have Obosh. Or if they have Blood Moon, excuse me. Soul Scar Mitch. Okay. Alright, let's get a planes. Let's do the thing. I'm just gonna make another homie, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna make another homie. Probably gonna kill both my homies. Alright, hold me down. Hold me down. Let's get a book. Let's make a food. Play this. Kill your homie. Your turn. Okay, that worked out well for us. <laughs> I hope they just cast Obosh. Any Oboshes? Fury. Eh, that's fine. I am actually okay with that. Manufacturer. Damn it. Uh, so now they have Obosh. Hmm. I can go Fiddlebender, Time Sieve, Springleaf Drum. And then if they don't kill the- if they don't kill this, they just lose, because I can just sack the second Time Sieve to get Manufactor. Wait, can I take a turn? Can I take a turn and leave enough stuff in play? Because I can go Springleaf Drum, Double Time Sieve. No, but then I'm not playing the Oswalds. Hmm. I wonder if we have enough material left over. No, because then I have to sack, I have to sack the second Time Sieve, right? One, two, three. No, because I can just sack everything. Oh, but then I'm sacking the Cookbook, which I can't do. Because I can go Springleaf Drum, make a food, play second Time Sieve, and then I have six artifacts, but I can only leave either Time Sieve or Cookbook in play, and I need both of them, you know? Like, I can play my whole hand, I know that, but I, I, need, I need to be able to keep the Time Sieve and the Cookbook, and I can only keep one of them, right? Because I need to be able to sack the second Time Sieve to be able to get the Manufacture, you know? So I think in that case, I just get Swamp and just dump my hand. Just 
go like Springleaf Trump, Oswald, Time Sieve, and just pray. <clears throat> Set up to make this play. Well, see, the thing is, I can't cast double Time Sieve unless I play Springleaf Trump plus. Like, I don't have. Uh, I Because I have this planes in play, I can't cast double Time Sieve right now. You know what I mean? Should I invest in Ugin's next eye? So yeah, I think I'm just going to go Drum, Oswald, Time Sieve, and ship it. Oh, wait. They actually have 14 damage. Because they have 6 from the Fury. Because they can play the Obosh. Yeah, they just have the Oswald dead. Because they have 6... They have tw 12 from the Fury. And then 2 from the Dart. That's 14 damage. I am at 15, so I'm not dead. But they probably just go Obosh. Obosh attack for 12. Nope, they're casting Ending on the Oswald. Not the Time Sieve? I guess I can just get a second Time Sieve. Okay, um, the sack, hmm, no, I'm in the same spot, right, where I have to sack, I have six artifacts, I guess I can sack everything but the cookbook, right, and then I get two shots at finding a manufacturer, They do get a Soul Scarb Age back, if that matters. Probably doesn't matter, right? Yeah, I guess it's fine. Is the paint. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. It's not a manufacturer. Thin my deck a little bit. All right, manufacturer, please. Hmm. So I'm dead. I'm dead to the no no Bosch. All right, go. No, they have a Lava Dart. They just go, oh, Bosh, Lava Dart this for two and then kill me. Because the Lava Dart deals two. I just don't think I can do about it, you know? Just didn't matter what. All right, you went. Until I bend and bend. Thoughts he sucks. This sucks. This is kills Blood Moon, I guess. Uh, probably explosives. I don't think I want bridge. Not really a fan of that stuff. Ragavan is atrocious because they have Lava Dart. Kind of mocks. All right, let's go. Mm -mm. Can I eat the food? Well, they just double up on the Fury. If I eat two food, I go to 15, and then they have... The Fury is 12 damage, because it's 3-3 it's three, three double strike twice. So the Fury by itself is 12 damage, so I couldn't have survived. Fury with Obosh is disgusting. I maybe got a bunch of Gantha. That sounds sick. This hand is sicko mode. I think I'm just going to play Asmo. Yeah, I'm going to play Asmo on two. Second book. Because, like, if I just tap out for Engineer, they're 100% going to kill it, so. 
Uh, let's get a planes for Blood Moon purposes. I gotta kill it now, no reason to. I can just kill it on their turn. Relic of Progenitus. Okay. Exile my land. A block. Sheesh. Can we get some sheeshes? Get some sheeshes going. Now what? I'm gonna make them act first. I'm not even gonna attack. Is there a way to get just kind of this deck? We lose the fountain, but get all three guys as Emery Oswald the Engineer. Uh, so you would lose similar to this approach, but you would basically be splashing time sieve, which is probably fine. That might not be the worst. Blood Moon. But yeah, that might not be the worst. I could see that. Boop, boop, boop. Alright, slug it down. Game objects. Game objects. Do we have enough game objects, chat? I don't think we have enough game objects yet. We need more game objects. I need more game objects. Uh, I'm just going to make some decisions at random here. Just get the time sieve. Now <laughs> world fire. Now she did cast glimpse of tomorrow. We're at the cookbook stacking. What do you mean? Oh, like, like these stack? Yeah, I don't know. It's so annoying. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. I really don't understand what the difference is. <laughs> Why does Otter not know how to concede? Otter doesn't usually concede. That's, they kind of have to kill the Engineer, unless they have another removal spell. So three and one, so they have Dart. Mm, sure. What's up, heretic? Channel or dart? <clears throat> Which actor I think is the best one on a budget in modern? Uh, is burn within your budget? Because I think burn's pretty good. Hmm, they have one guard. Uh, I mean, I could just... I guess I don't have enough mana to rebuy the manufacturer and cast it. I can do that next turn. I'm just gonna kill this idiot. Uh, I pass. I'm just gonna rebuy manufacturer this turn, I think. I could rebuy engineer, but we'll see. Soul Scott Mage. They have no cards. Alright. Alright. Alright, how many more game objects do you want to want to sift through, Otter? Game objects. Game objects.
Game objects. Mm -mm 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 -mm. A Japanese player top in an event of Murray running too similar to a gatekeeper. I didn't see that. Interesting. I always thought gatekeeper was kind of meh. Splitting the campaign you consider to be 61 cards. Mm, not technically, no. Technically speaking, no. Dude, I'm so mad that Blood Fountain Tokens doesn't work with Academy Manufacturer. You don't know how much that makes me upset. It pains me, chat. It pains me. It physically pains me. Oh, they're dead. Cool. Now we're done. Now we are done. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You get no more turns. You get no more turns. I'm gonna play a saga just to troll him. Otter's going for the timeout. Love to see it. What's the budget you're working with? Yeah, it really depends on what your budget is. I exist in black and white, and now I'm seeing red. Trend engineer with the legendary squirrel blood fountain to make a squirrel token. That's interesting. Oh, you're talking about with um, what's that card called? Chatterfang. Talking about Chatterfang. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Take as many game actions as possible. I mean, I just wanted to kill them at that point. Come on. Yeah, Dredge is a good budget option. Although, Dredge needs fetch lands. How much are gemstone mines? Are gemstone mines expensive? Because you kind of need gemstone mines for Dredge. I'm sure there's, like, some random expensive card, right? <clears throat> Shredder doesn't play fetch lands. Oh, gemstone mine is super cheap. Why is it so cheap? Is that really how cheap gemstone mine is? I guess it got reprinted in Time Spiral. I didn't realize the gemstone mine was that cheap. Eh. Yeah, it has, like, black leaves and spire bluffs, right? I guess black leaves are kind of expensive. It's probably the best option, though. Because the, the, all the all the money is really just in the mana base. And there's no fetch lands, so... Yeah, copper lands aren't that expensive. To find who I become... Oh, no lands. No lands. Okay, I guess this plays... I think I'm going to put back the Time Sieve. It's like kind of awkward to be in my opening hand. And I don't have the Daredevil to like utilize it, but you know, I don't have enough resources to utilize it. Soul Scar Mage. Is this a turn one Saga kind of hand? I don't think so. <laughs> no, it was it was living end Thunderlunk. It was living end. It was our our living end opponent had spell pierce in their deck. It was uh, it was something. It was something. It was one of those things where you had to have been there, you know. What's up, Millie? <laughs> Mm 
portable hole. So I know they have Bolt, which means I don't really want to play the Oswald. I think I'm just going to play Wellspring here. Yeah, use my mana effectively. Well, you don't actually have to, right? Yeah, like, I think you're allowed, like, if you're playing MDFCs, you're allowed to sleeve them on the land side. I think. I think you can. I've seen people do that in tournaments. I don't know if it's like a, you know, competitive REL versus whatever kind of thing, but... Mm. Right, let's just make a food now. Because I want a bigger construct. And I can just get a basic swamp this turn. That's an interesting draw. I'm going to fetch now in case they have wear tear. I guess if they had wear tear, they would just main phase it. But... I guess now I don't have red mana if I draw engineer, but. <clears throat> yeah, right. If you're, I think if you're playing Belcher, maybe it's an, it's an exception because like you're literally only going to ever play those on the land side. A valid card in the deck. MDFC is only valid the other way. Oh, okay. Good to know. Dearon Illy, thank you for the six months. Really appreciate that. Chat, I hope you're all having a good night tonight. Hope you're hanging out. Hey, hope you're having a good time hanging out on the live stream. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Hope you're having a good time. Be sure to follow the stream. Twitch Prime, all that good stuff. Thank you for the seven months. Six months, excuse me. Prismatic ending. Targeting the cookbook. And they have four cards in their hand. Okay. I'm just going to take the Soul Scar Mage. Calibrated Blast is probably cheap, yeah. It's just Emrakul's. Whatever procedures are. Ooh, they don't even have the burn spell, so they can't attack. That's good. Just more Saga tokens, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go more Saga tokens. And then I'm gonna get... I'm just gonna Springleaf Drum. Which I actually kind of like, because then I can go... Go Saga Fiddlebender. And probably just attack for five. Yeah, I'm here for it. I'll attack for five. Guess I might take a thumping from the Soul Scar Mage now, but I think that's okay. And S. Because now they kind of have to kill the Fiddlebender. Well, I guess they don't have to, because I don't have the cookbook in play. Because I, I can sack this to get uh, Manufacturer, but I don't have a cookbook, which means I can't really go off with it. <laughs> now, what do we get, Otter? Just gonna play Olbosh? That's fine. That is fine by me. Spire of Industry. Uh, so I can go Portable Hole, the Soul Scar Mage. And then just attack with the Constructs, force the trade with Obosh. It sounds pretty good, right? 
So just go play this, play portable hole, kill the blocker, play spire, and then attack with everything. Because they're forced to block a construct. Oh, it's not even a trade because it's only six damage. Yeah, they're super dead. Man, Saga's great when they don't drop Blood Moon, huh? <laughs> Saga's a pretty crack card when they don't drop Blood Moon. I could have not attacked with this. Because I would have had a mana post combat with the drum and the construct. But I don't know. I'm just going to deal with damage. It's fine. And they're playing Obosh, so they can't have, like, Ratchet Bomb or Explosives or any of that stuff. They have to have, like, multiple Prismatic Endings. <laughs> they're bolting themselves. Aha! Got him. Let's go, chat. Two and one. Mm. Kind of a sketchy keep. But I can lead on Blood Fountain and give myself two shots at finding a second land. Eh, fuck it. I'm in. It's probably a loose keep, but... Merktide. I probably should discard a red card, huh? Yeah, why didn't I discard a red card? I should have kept the backup Asmo. That was stupid. I should have 100% discarded one of these two. That was terrible. The Gorio's Emrakul deck? Yeah, that deck was sweet, too. The one with Asmo. <clears throat> oh, they don't have Bolt. That's good for me. Alright, so now I can go... Kind of need a Daredevil. Just play Wellspring? I'm just going to play Wellspring. This Spell Pierce. It's kind of a tilt. I feel like I just really needed to hit a land drop there. Right, they still have no removal spells, which is good. Alright, red mana, Dece. Uh, leading on Cookbook to bait a counter spell, and then I'm going to slam the Engineer. They... Bind a Bobble. Alright, because they obviously don't have a removal spell, they would have killed my Ragab... They would have killed the Asthma and hit with Ragaban, so... So let's get Manufactor. Yeah, the Mox is a little expensive, but there's only one Mox, right? Well, I guess there's two Moxes in this version, but if you weren't playing Ragavid, you would probably only want to play one Mox. So. Drums are $2 each. Are they really? Jeez. I guess because of Hammer Time. They're going to cast a 5-5? Five five? Okay. I can maybe beat a 5-5. Five five. Alright, 5-5 five five Merktide. And a Channeler. You're an Oswald. Hmm. Okay, so I can go... It's the best way to do this. I can tap a land, a non-Blood Crypt land, play Springleaf Drum, tap Drum, tap Asmo, red... So that's tapped. Tap the drum, tap the Asmo, red. Sack the drum, get the manufacturer back. Play Cookbook, discard Ragavan. And then play Oswald. Two. Play this. Here. Tap these two, play this. Tap, make red, sack. 
yeah, okay, so let's go here, play drum. This should work. Wait. No, 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 no. It's better to go red, sack this. Yeah, sack the blood fountain, get back the manufacturer. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Sack the blood fountain, get back the manufacturer. Oh, I don't have enough mana to do. No, I do, yeah, because I go this, play cookbook. Discard Ragavan, make three things, then use the treasure. Yay, yeah, 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 this works. Alright, I knew it worked. And then we can sack a token for time save if they don't find a removal spell. They've been two cards. It's only 11 damage. Okay, you draw a card. Discard Daredevil. Get back Daredevil. I can even play around Bolt. Uh, no, 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 let's go. Tap this for white. Sack the drum. Get time sieve. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. This is fine, right? Because I can go red. Get back cookbook. Sack clue. Still have to, I need to leave up two mana to crack a food the entire time, basically, is what I'm getting at. Because I need a player. I guess if they had bolt, they would have just killed this, right? Yeah, if they had bolt, they would have just killed that. One, two, three, four. I'm just going to leave up two mana to food the entire time, just in case. But again, if they had both, they would have just killed this, right? So. Response to the first X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They would have they would have killed the manufacturer a while ago. I think if they had Bolt. But like there's no reason not to play around it, right? Like I might as well just play around it. It's kind of free. Uh, let's go here. One, two. Three, four, five, draw a card. Mm. Play land. I guess I am just going to attack. I do have infinite turns, yes. Looks like they're casting a spell. Subtlety. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. I just kill it. Because now, now they're tapped out. They don't have bolts. Infinite turns, opponents. Have they seen the writing on the wall? They have. Cool. How does 2x manufacturers work? It makes 9. So it's exponential. It's not It's not 3 and then 6. It's 3 and then 9. And then I think 18 after that? Is that how that works? It's 3, 9, 18, 36. I think that's how it works. 3, 9. Oh, yeah, 27. And then it would be 81. Yeah, three nine twenty seven eighty one. Yeah, yeah, okay, gotcha. Yep. Right. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah, it's enough. The correct answer is it's enough. 
So we played this matchup before, and we kind of... We definitely wanted the bridge. The bridge was insane against them. Not a fan of explosives. The Epic Sphere, no. I want, like, what if the Graveyard hate cards, but not both. Um, Honestly, Portable Hole didn't even feel like it was that good. Like, I think the, the one-drops aren't the cards that matter. I think it's, like, the Blood Moons and the Murktad Regents. And those are the cards that matter. I'm going to try keeping in Ragavan. I'm going to cut a Mox. Shrim and Oswald. And then I think I'm going to cut, like, an Engineer and a Fountain for... No, I'm just going to bring in one Wear Tear. Yeah, that's fine. What'd you take out if you couldn't afford Ragavan from this list? Uh, I would look at the version we played yesterday. Which, let me see if I can pull it up real quick. So this is the Grixis version that we played yesterday. This is like the original list. No Ragavans, and it's playing uh, Emery and Unearth instead. So it's it's a bit of a different, you know, different mana base. It's playing Grixis, not white for Fiddlebender. But I'd, I'd probably start with something like this, if you didn't have Ragavans. Uh, the sand's cracked. Keep it. My opponent said I literally bought a place at a time series today because of this deck. Nice. You'll love to see it. Hmm. I guess... I, mean, I have to get black-white. I don't have a Sacred Foundry in my deck, which is probably... It's probably... The mana base is probably misbuilt. I need to play a Sacred Foundry. Uh, but yeah, I think I have to get black white. I'm gonna obviously I'm portable holding this, but yeah, it's this is like the second time I've wanted a sacred foundry, so I gotta fix the mana base a little bit. I have EE, that's fine. I can live with that. Oh, we need to find a land. Right, exactly, yeah. No Blood Moon, please. I guess if they Blood Moon, they fix our mana for Engineer, huh? Alright, they did find a land. They have a Bolt. I feel like they have a Bolt. No, no bolt. That's good for us. I don't really have a way to start the chain, though. I guess I can sack this. Okay. Hmm. Now where do we go? <clears throat> now where do we go from here? Hmm. This is interesting. I don't want to get Mox Amber, because that's a third mana source for Manufacturer. Oh, I can't fetch... Well, I can fetch Mox Amber with Saga, but I can't get Mox Amber this turn. Uh, so maybe I just go Cookbook, maybe I'll high roll and try and spike a land, so I can go Cookbook, discard Engineer, and then sack the Cookbook for, for, um, an Icar Wellspring and try to spike a land. You want to Book Asmo? I kind of want to high roll and try and spike a land off of sacking the Book, because then I can still play the Asmo if I find a land. I think I like that. I guess it, like, oh yeah, because I'm just going to sack the book anyway, so this is fine. Sacking the book into the explosives is nice. Easy. Two free. Now we can just get a blood crypt. Two free for the bean. They have subtlety, maybe? That's fine. Pitch Merktide. I'll top it. Mm, 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 mm. 
You have enough mana to next turn getting Amber or Springleaf off Saga without a land. Well, yeah, I could just get an Amber off the Saga. You know what I mean? But I like I guess I could have sacked a food to get a Springleaf, but then I can't the, the Oswald is tapped. You know what I mean? So if I sack food to get Springleaf, the Oswald's tapped, then I can't actually make mana this turn. Uh but now they're dead, right? I think they're dead. Yeah, because I just get Amber. Play Manufactor. Play Cookbook. Discard Engineer. And then I can sack a 1? Just sack the portable hole, right? Yeah. I kept singing. Let me go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Pog Champ. Yeah, you can have your Ragaban back. <laughs> you can have your Ragaban back. It's not deterministic yet, though, right? Not quite deterministic. It's pretty damn close, but... Is it? It might be deterministic. Well, I'm missing a Daredevil. I need a Daredevil or a second Manufactor. How do I get a Daredevil or a second Manufactor? I guess I can go... Tap Cookbook, discard Ragavan, sack Cookbook, get a Wellspring, play Asmo, play Second Book. Yeah, that works, right? Because then I, have an extra, I need an extra card in my hand, basically, is what I'm getting at. So let's do that. Let's go discard this. Let's go tap this. Sack the book. Get a wellspring. Because I just need more cards. That's all I'm missing is I just need more cards. Okay, now it should be deterministic. So they have a spell pierce, but... Alright, we got him, chat. We got him. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, yeah, they would have pierced last turn. Good point. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Attack you. Sup. All right, make a food. Play Saga. Make a token. Sack a food. Get another book. Make some stuff. Yes, yes, yes. All right, they're off it. Let's go. Mm -mm -mm. This hand's kind of sketchy. Kind of sketchy. Ooh. This hand's dope. Uh, I wish it was a seven card hand, because I, I want to keep all these cards. I kind of want to keep all the lands. I guess I just put back Blood Fountain, and then just go Ragavated to Oswald. I think that makes the most sense. I'm certainly not putting back Ragavan. Verdant Catacombs. Alright, battle. Battle. Ooh, we get a trigger. We get another Verdant Catacombs. I think I'm going to choose to not play the cookbook. Because I kind of want to sack the treasure to the Oswalds. What's this? Am I getting Spell Snared? Nope. Yeah, I'm just going to ship it. Esper would be more controlly. I mean, I think you could build an Esper version that's like that shoves all in the combo. You know, if you just played like four Oswald, four Emery, four Unearth, four Manufactor, you know, all four ofs, I think you could build a version that's like shoves more in on the combo. 
All right, so now I can sack this to get Portable Hole and then attack with the Ragavan. Still didn't hit a spell off of their deck, but... Not complaining. Ig Noble Hierarch. Probably gonna portable hole that too. I'm just gonna make a food here. Kinda just want more material in play. Okay. Uh, sack the treasure, portable hole this. Oh, they have Dryad Arbor in their deck. This might have been stupid. I mean, training Ragavan for Dryad Arbor is not that bad, right? It's probably okay. But maybe I should just be going, going for combo pieces. Yeah, because I could have just got a time save this turn. But, I don't know, neither like, low on mana. I think it's okay. At least this, like, forces them to just stone rain themselves, you know? Which is probably not something they wanted to do. Yeah, we'll just draw a manufacturer and make it easy. <laughs> oh, this deck is silly, chat. Ha, this deck is so gross. <laughs> uh, you can have your Strength Rukai spec. How's the match of this deck against Titan? Mm, it's probably just a pure race. I don't think it's necessarily bad, but it's probably just a pure race. <laughs> My opponent said this deck is so freaking sweet. <laughs> Give him a little heart. I'm just gonna get more books so I can go infinite, because now it's actually infinite. You may look back when you think you're mad. Did you win the bridge game? Uh, I won the bridge game, but I lost the I lost game three. I did win the bridge game. All right, Pony, you're not getting another turn. You are not getting another turn. I will eventually find something to kill you. Uh, explain that my opponent, I can make six game objects a turn, and I only need five. Let's see how much this second action. Does the Goblin Engineer only help by putting a reactor in the graveyard? What other parts does it play? Well, you could tutor for time sieve. So the thing about Goblin Engineer is it tutors for any combo piece. If you're missing a book, you can tutor for a book and then loop it into play. Uh, if, you, if you're missing a time sieve, you can do that. It's just like any artifact that you're missing, because three of the four pieces of your combo are all artifacts, being cookbook, time sieve, manufacturer. So Goblin Engineer is basically just a demonic tutor, you know? Tireless tracker, jeez. I can just sack the clues to the to the time sieve. Provisioner with manufacturer is kind of dope. Maybe there's like an Abzan version. Uh, I guess you'd have to still splash blue for time sieve. Sultai, I don't know. Uh, all right, playing Yogmoth. Portable hole, I think, is good. Needles, good. Graveyard hates good. Uh, the rest of this is kind of nonsense. Ragavan's quite poor. And I'll go to Mox Amber. Cool, let's go. If you control 18 Academy manufacturers, it would create some number of clue food or church tokens you will instead create. <laughs> thank you, Gusman, thank you. Just in case you ever have 18 creatures... And you cast Mirror Weave on your Academy Manufacturer. 
you know, you never know, right? You just never know. See, it's fine. Not great. I'm okay with it. Naya with Goose. Mm. Well, I mean, I don't even know that the red cards are that good. Like, Ragavan's whatever, but it's like Engineer. It's like, do you want to lose Engineer, right? Because Ragavan's kind of whatever. It's good, but the problem with Ragavan in this deck, like, obviously I'm not saying that Ragavan's a bad card. The problem with Ragavan in this deck is you don't have a lot of removal spells to get it through, you know? So this has been one of the weaker Ragavan decks. Turn one book, turn two, raise the alarm, turn three, manufacture. Jeez. Into beer weave. That's hot. Lazav's kind of cool with the combo, and it surveils. I could see that. That's kind of a neat idea. Uh, I think this gets the manufacture. Skip manufacture, or... Yeah, because this can get cookbook. And get manufacture. Not playing Fabricate? No, no Fabricate. Fabricate's too slow. Three mana for a tutor. Sorcery speed. Not really where you want to be. Well, we were talking about that Wanderlust. I don't even think Ragavan's that good in this deck. I've been considering cutting Ragavan. Like, I think if you were to, if you wanted to just play the Mardu deck and you wanted to cut Ragavans... Let's talk about the deck list here. Like, I'd probably just go 4th Manufactor, 4th Blood Fountain, 3rd Portable Hole, and then you would cut a Mox Amber and play, like, 2 more things, like a 3rd Wellspring, maybe another Tutor Target for Fiddlebender, but you would you would just, like, up some of the other numbers, you know? Hmm. It's not exactly what I wanted to see. So they can kill the engineer. Do I have to spell bomb them now? Just to make them sack something else? I think I do. It feels really bad, but I think I do. Like, this feels so bad, but. I'm basically trading Spellbomb for one of the other creatures. I mean, the Saga can eventually get Needle, but... So I think this turn is just going to be Wellspring and Springleaf Drum. I don't want to put any creatures in play to the Yawgmoth, and then next turn I can go Chapter 3, get Needle, and then the next Saga can get Cookbook. Yeah, that, that should work. Well, if I have time, but... Like, I also I could just die next turn. They have a cord for one. So they get a wolf. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. It's not looking great, chat. It's not looking great. I'm gonna draw some cards. Need to hope they don't find another undying creature. Green, black. Oh. Well, now we're dead. <laughs> and we're dead. Let's just go to game three. Let's not kid ourselves, chat. Was it worth the jam Saga to turn one to Needle? Maybe. It is possible. Maybe I should have played Saga on one. Going to 1k this weekend and playing the Red Black Evoke deck you played the other day. I thought something on the Blood Moons to the sideboard and changed them to lands. No, I think I actually want more Blood Moons to Spain. I wanted to play more Blood Moons. I 
I think part of the reason that you're playing one of those decks is because of how good Blood Moon is main deck. Like, a lot of decks just aren't equipped to beat it main deck. There's so many, you know what I mean? So I just want more moons. Mm. Sand's a little too loose. Oh, not like this. We just keep this and hope the high roll will land. It's better than going to five. Not in love with it, but I think it's better than going to five. Blood's on six. Maybe this is just too greedy. What do you think of the Grid Black Reef deck? It felt powerful. It felt pretty good. B5 owed. Land! Damn it. Okay, at least we found a shitty card to discard. Alright, well, we tried. We done tried. Feels bad, man. Mm -hmm. I also kept the one lander. No! So, I'm going to kill the Wall of Roots. Uh, guess I'm discarding the back of Asmore. Uh, if they have Veil of Summer, they have Veil of Summer. I can't, like... They actually have Veil of Summer? No, they don't. All right. Attack. If they block, I'm probably going to sack the spell bomb. I don't think they're blocking, but. Newbie, thank you for the $20 donation. That was aggressive. Appreciate the 20. Uh, for donation decks, this tomorrow's full and next week is full. So you're okay with the week after? Because we got the, the next two weeks are full, so. But thank you for the 20 donation deck. Really appreciate that. That's very generous of you. My opponent said, I have blundered. Okay. Uh, I mean... Alright. This is the game we're going to play, huh? I'm just going to play both on one land. Is there a lineup in the Discord or do you have to wait and wonder? I don't, I, I don't usually post them. Maybe I could. Let's go. Are we actually going to win this game? Because we both kept greedy one-landers. We both kept greedy one-landers. Birds. B -b 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 Birds. Okay. So let's spell bomb you because I want to cycle. Springleaf drum. Uh, I guess it's better to just go Springleaf Drum. Yeah, make a food. And then sack the food to kill the bird, I think. Let's get Portable Hole. And then I can make a Saga Token next turn. I think this makes sense. Alright, they found a land. They can Punishment for zero, which kills the Asmo and the Saga. Which they probably have to do, right? Yeah. Okay. It's not that bad for us. It's not great, but... Time Sif, huh? 
Not exactly looking for time sieve. So I think I just sack a book to get a wellspring. Because I need some more cards. Mm, not exactly what we're looking for. They have a second crime punishment we're probably still going to lose. So they can grist this. <laughs> I still might lose this game. <laughs> I, I actually think I'm going to. Oh, no, chat. This is not good. This is not going as planned. I finally drew the Daredevil a little too late. Uh, now I can't cast any spells. Well, that fucking sucks. Beats, I guess. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I'm just not going to lose this game. Oh, that's tragic. All right, you win. That sucks. I mean, I kept the one lander. I get it. You know, it is what it is. But God, I thought we were going to win that one. All right, and that was the league. Just wanted to do a little quick outro here. Uh, give, give you my thoughts on the deck and, and what I liked, what I didn't like. Uh, for the most part, I liked this version a little bit more than the Grixis version I played previously, because the original version I played didn't have Ragavan. Really think Ragavan is worth it. It is awkward that you don't have a lot of, like, you don't really have any spot removal spells to get to clear creatures. Like, you know, you're not playing on Holy Heat or Fatal Push or Prismatic Ending. You have a couple portable holes, uh, and you have Asmo, which can sometimes get the Ragavan through. But I think... It's enough of a threat by itself that it demands an answer. And the one thing that I like about this is, like, when you play Ragavan, they have to kill it. And if they don't kill it, well, you're probably just going to take away, take over the game with Ragavan. And if they do kill it, that's one less removal spell for your Oswald or your Engineer, which allows you to clean, more cleanly set up your combo. So I think Ragavan is good for, it's kind of both, fills both of those rules, which I like. There's not really much that I think I would want to change. The second Mox Amber can maybe go... Again, I, I do think, as I said in the intro, I kind of want a Sacred Foundry. Uh, I could see maybe trimming the third Blood Fountain, because we got flooded on those a little bit, and when you're not playing with Emery, like before, the, the other versions we had played Emery, and when without Emery you don't need like the two game objects as much early on, um, so I think I could see cutting a Blood Fountain, maybe the third time sieve, maybe you want another tutor target for Oswald, like a Lightning Greaves. Potentially, if you can make room for both, you could justify playing a Greaves and the Crackdown Construct to have an additional, like, combo angle of attack that you can set up with Engineer and Oswald. I don't know if I'm a big fan of that, but I wouldn't mind going minus a Blood Fountain for a Lightning Greaves. Uh, 21 lands might be the right number. You could maybe convince me to add 22, and then I think maybe the Mox Amber could go for either a third Wellspring, maybe one of the one mana targets in the main deck, potentially the fourth Manufactor, something like that. Sideboard, I think I want to cut, uh, the extra portable holes. I kind of want to play Prismatic Ending over more portable holes, because it kind of accomplishes the same role, but... In the post-board games, Portable Hole gets a lot worse and people are going to bring in Shatter, so I wouldn't mind swapping those for Prismatic Endings. But I think everything else is pretty good. The bridge came up, the uh, explosives... I don't know if the explosives came up, but I, I want to keep it. Uh, but yeah, everything else looks pretty good. I think this is a good starting point. You know, we, we went 3-2, but I think the deck definitely showed a lot of promise, and I think there's something here, so I'm going to continue to work on this. Uh, if you got any ideas, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.